Remember the time you were changing your fuel injectors and you broke the plastic clips on your wiring harness? I finally got around to replacing my fuel injectors and somewhere along the line all of the plastic connectors on my 1990 Miata decided that they were just going to give up. This in itself wasn't a huge deal, I was just a little bit annoyed that I would have to splice in new pigtails for all of my injectors. I looked around the internet but didn't see any information on replacing the actual connectors short of re-splicing everything. I found some Denso style connectors on eBay and I picked up four of them for I think 10 bucks. I figured worst case I would splice these new pigtails in. Best case I would be able to depin and repin these connector housings without any splicing. Turns out the process was actually pretty straightforward. All you need is a small pick or flathead and the fuel injector connector itself. So I apologize in advance because it's really hard to film these connectors up close. So I'll try my best to describe them to you. If you look at the inside of the connector, there's a little plastic tab that snaps in place and locks the actual pigtail into the connector. What we wanna do here is take a small flat pick or depinning tool and lift this tab up so you can slide the metal connector out of place. If you've got ideas for other videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and like and subscribe to stay updated with when we upload new videos. Until next time. With the pigtail removed, you can actually see on the connector the, the recess or indentation where the plastic tab locks into place. What we're doing is we're lifting that plastic locking tab up over the depression so we can remove the wire. That's it, the process is pretty straightforward. It is a little bit weird and awkward at first, but once you've done a few of them, it makes a whole lot more sense. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some additional footage of me depinning the rest of these connectors so you can get a feel for the process itself. Once you've separated the connector housing from the pigtails, you can repeat the process on the wiring harness in your car and just plug these new connectors back in place. As always, I will include a link to parts in the comments below.
Thank you.